So if you search uh, on the web for the C++ iceberg, you will find this image that has some strange, um, let's call them features of C++. So I have been learning C++ only, mostly since I started programming, and this means that I know a lot of things, but it's, it seems like I still don't know half of the things here. Like, what do you mean Hello World has a bug? Okay, let's start simple. So what does uh, zero and then indexing mean? Well, does this look familiar? This actually translates to this. So the funny thing is that addition is commutative. So let's swap the terms to get this. And then we get this. And yeah, this actually works and produces the same output. But wait, things will get even weirder. Okay, okay, this is funny. So you know when you leave your C++ job and just want to make a, a small prank? Well, just leave this file in the error code base. It has all the nice things here. Let's depraise the structs with unions. Let's replace uh, if with while. Let's reinvent mass, and also my favorite, let's do some quantum computing here and make uh, the true be actually true only for some of the times. Hmm, what do you mean uh, if else is a lie? You click this morning that else in C++ is a lie. It's just else followed by a one line implicit block, which means you could also make else while another. What? Okay, this actually reminds me of a while else statement from my programming language C++, so yeah, I don't know which is more cursed. Let's see. This article seems to be about alternative tokens. Yeah, I know this ones. What the f***? Okay, please tell me this doesn't compile. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm leaving. Next, we have the arrow operator. Never heard of it. Okay, so uh, we have a while and we write x go to zero. What? Yeah, so um, basically, if you didn't catch this, this is just x minus minus greater than zero. But uh, it becomes wilder. We can also make uh, x go faster to zero. Or, you know, even make x slide to zero if you want that. Okay, this one is funny. So, templates are usually used to reuse code. So, this is an example from my community game engine, where we have different structures and we use templates to reuse some implementation. Meanwhile, a Turing complete language is a language where you are able to implement any algorithm you can think of. So, yeah, this means you can use templates to implement anything. And, yeah, the, the funniest thing is that it was made by an accident, so good for C++, I guess. Before we continue, this guy from my Discord server told me that if I don't include him in my next video, the Rust Scrub will come after me. So, yeah, here you go, Stefan. Oh, you don't know about my, my Discord community? <laughs> well, <laughs> come join my Discord community. You will like this one. You can apparently do try blocks when defining a function. Oh god, this looks cursed. And things become even worse. You can also do that in places like member initialization lists. And, like, the reason is that you might have to actually catch some errors, but, yeah, seriously, C++, seriously? The next one talks about, like, all the ways you can initialize in C++, and it's not that interesting, like, there are, I don't know, like, 20 ways or something, you know, just basic stuff. What do you mean for loop is broken? Oh, cool, nobody wants to fix it, that's a relief. Okay, so it seems like this actually happens only when using temporary stuff, so... Yeah, you know, just don't do that, I guess. Oh god, people are going to move to Rust because of my video. Finally, let's see why Hello World has a bug. So, printf returns how many characters were printed, and if it fails, it returns minus one. Well, what happens if there is no disk space? Well, you can't write uh, to std out, and the program fails, but it doesn't signal any errors. So, yeah, if you said that you knew how to write correct programs, well, think again. Well, not in C++, I guess. Please don't move to Rust, I need people to still watch my C++ videos. Now, before you completely switch to Rust, you should understand that just because a feature is in C++, that doesn't mean you should use it. So, take care, and use the C++ language feature wisely. By the way, did I mention that you should use this while you're on Steam? 